Do you remember how to make a fire with sticks? Yeah, man. It's easy. Uh, rub them together, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think it's working, man. I think I saw some guy do it like this once. Up of all... Hello everybody, Don't Starve here, and welcome to Project Zomboid. So a couple days ago, I picked up this game, Project Zomboid, after it won in my community polls as the next game I would make videos for. And after researching it through thoroughly, I've learned that Project Zomboid is a general old-school-esque zombie simulator where the zombies are playing by the Romero rules. In other words, they are almost all sturdy, shambling entities that can only be killed via headshots or burning them. Also, there's no cure for the infection, so if one bites you, you might as well throw yourself a gender reveal party. Also, I've heard there are variants that run, but I haven't personally seen any of them yet. What makes Project Zomboid unique and popular among us among players us. is the heavy focus on realism in the game. Yeah, you have to eat, drink, and sleep, but you also have to spend a lot of time learning new skills, you have to keep your character happy, and you have to keep your character calm. You can't just outright heal yourself by right-clicking on your character with heal heal items. You have to bandage yourself and disinfect wounds, and as time goes on, more worldly appliances you rely on start to shut off, like the water. Also, so since the zomboids are infinitely spawning and are attracted to sounds and sight, if you set off an alarm, you might as well start running for your life. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Knowing all this and virtually nothing of how to play, I immediately had a goal in mind. I was going to send one of my monsters over to attempt to burn down the largest town in the game, Louisville. And with myself having no idea where Louisville was or how to burn it down, I got started creating a character. I selected the following traits. Fitness Gram Pacer Test, which gave me two to fitness, Obamacare, which gave me points in first aid, and Tyranid Rapid Regeneration, so I would heal faster. And to get these buffs, I also had to get debuffs in order to afford them. And the two I chose were OnlyFans models, so it would take me forever to read books, and Middle Schooler on TikTok, so my character would be far more thirsty than normal. The latter would have lasting consequences. And after choosing my traits and creating a new minion of my creatures which I named Ripter, I spawned it into consciousness and my adventure began. Oh hey, I spawned with a backpack. Uh, can, can I have the pineapple? No, I, I, I just want the pineapple. Can I... Any weapons? Zombie right there. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Okay, um. I, oh wait, you have a baton on you. And you had it, didn't you? Come on, who had the baton? How do I. How do I get the baton? Slasher at this point in time did not know how to loot corpses. This would have lasting consequences. Okay, I think I found a weapon. Um, this really isn't a good weapon. I should probably do something about her. Um, can't salt be used to make saline? I saw that in the toothpaste ab ones. Oh, holy crap, is that Noam Chomsky? Yeah, it was my old friend, Noam Chomsky. Unfortunately, I can't pick him up here, so I unfortunately just had to leave him here. Oh, hey, it's kiting, just like in Don't Starve. This is how I acclimated to my first few days in Project Zomboy, clearing out any zombies I saw and then looting the houses for snacks and water. At this point, though, I still had not found a proper weapon and had just began hitting anything that moved with saucepans after I ate whatever was inside of them. Wait, how do they all know where I am? I didn't fire a gun. Okay, maybe running's but Now. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, it's night, too! This was my first time setting off an alarm. Fortunately, I just dashed away from the scene, found a nice house to spend the night in, and I found another few pans to hit things with. 
I also tried to read a skill book for metalworking, but I then remembered I have really shitty reading comprehension. You know how to read. Yes, I do know how to read. Nimpton book. This would have mild yet lasting consequences. I mean, I should probably go get some better weapons first, but I don't really know where to get weapons. All right, this at the northeast side of the map, so I just gotta keep pouting up. And Damn it, I tried to do it again. That'll work out for me. I really hope I wasn't followed. Dude, how can there not be fucking weapons in here? Oh, here we go. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of weapons in here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think gas is flammable, so if I take that, I might be able to start a fire. Oh, hey, I think, like, uh, failed survivors. Oh, yeah, I can do this with a hammer. Why am I losing health? Did something hit me? No, I'm... Ow. Oh. Maybe I just need to sleep. I'll eat some of my pineapples. I, I know what's going on with pineapple. I know you eat pineapple. How many left of 40 foot tall pineapple lying around? Patrick, I swear to God. But that was pretty much my life for the next few days. I would make short and adequate progress towards my goal, the northeast section of the map, stopping to kill any zombies I found along the way, and eating whatever people had in their refrigerators. I even tried to utilize the exercise mechanic, but that becomes kind of a pain in the ass to deal with a fatigue when you're dealing with a whole pack of zombies. I mean, I still killed them, it just could have gone easier. I swear that's like the third house that I've done that with. Alright, so looking back at my cheating map for cheaters, I am going in the right direction, I just need to follow this river and then there will eventually be a bridge that goes up. Hang on, first I gotta kill this guy. Not for any particular reason, but just because I like killing people. Kill people with hammers. Kill people with hammers. Kill people with hammers. It turns out I was actually not as close to Louisville as I thought, so I went back to the houses, and on the way I killed a few more people with hammers, and I tested out the cooking mechanic in Project Zomboid. Pasta is fine, as long as it doesn't make any monster lasagna. Wait, I can't eat it if I don't have... I can't eat it if I don't have something to... No! And then I got a little bit angry at a house alarm. Never mind, the d fucking alarm went off even though the front door was open! The front door was open! Shortly after, I had decided to continue my trek anyways, as I thought I was almost there. I made it to a bridge and crossed it, and at that moment I thought I was close to Louisville. Oh god, dude, I'm not even close. Ah! The irony of how wrong I was here would have lasting consequences. Now, stay down. You stay on the ground. Making my way through the outskirts of the town, I found the aching hunger calling yet again. I decided to learn how to cook this time, and made some tasty hammed burgers. Ah, oh, okay, here they come. Okay, here, take them. I ended up going into the woods to both escape the zombies and to progress further to where I thought Louisville was. However, I had a few brushes with death as the woods had quite a few zombies in them. I made it through, though. Okay, yeah, I, I officially, uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. This is how I died. And we just know how the zombies are gonna split my corpse. Among us! The road, I'm saved! Fuck you, zombie! While making my way to the next area, I noticed that my character was ridiculously tired, and since I have no idea how this game's sleep mechanic works, whether I just die instantly or start sleeping in the middle of the road, I don't know. Fortunately, I learned the secret power known as Flintstone Gummies, which slightly lowers your fatigue level every time you consume them. This helped me get to one of those metal boxes to which I then slept on the floor for the night. Ah, there's more shit around here I can eat, I'll find it. Bye. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll take some emergency death bleach. Oh, hey, look, a dead mouse. And now I can I can successfully eat a steward. Bad. There's quite a few of them ready to greet me with a... Fine, how do you do? Oh, fuck, we're gonna have to cross through the woods again. Dude, I am going to fuck these trees. And we're back into road. So when I press that to... Wait, what? Oh, what's wrong? What the hell? Oh, that's why, because my fucking shoes broke. Okay, where do I... Where, where, where do I get more... Where do I get more sneakers? 
So I kept walking my raggedy ass shoes until I made it to a completely closed off area that I currently had no way of breaking into. It didn't help that all the houses in the area were also burned down to a crisp, meaning there was little for me to actually forage for. I did, however, find some food and alcohol in one of the burned buildings, and ended up spending the night in one of the building's bathrooms. <laughs> however, after moving on, the zombies finally got the drop on me after my attention was diverted and dealt two scratch wounds to me for the two zombies that were there. Fortunately, neither of them were bites, so I wasn't infected, and I was good to continue moving on after patching my wounds. I really hope I don't just get to an idea and like somebody gave me the wrong directions and there's no way to get behind on the other side of this. Unfortunately though, I was really beginning to feel the effects of my raggedy ass shoes. I keep bleeding every few seconds because my shoes are so fucked. Yeah, it's really a shame I can't loot those zombie corpses, huh? I'm just hoping there's houses over here because there was a trail back here. Oh god, I know what that is. <laughs> oh god, that's a helicopter. <laughs> I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. I'm not gonna die. I do think I'm going insane though. Okay, can I, can I, where, where, where's the crawling horrors? Can I kill those for nightmare fuel? After quite a bit of backtracking though, I was able to find a house to replenish my stash and sleep in. Also, I learned how backpacks work. Okay, so I just realized you can look into bags and inside this school bag that I didn't know I had this whole time. This would have lasting benefits. And finish up. I really wanted to continue my trek, but I wasn't going to do that without non-fucked up shoes. But that's when I came to the realization that... Okay, I just looked it up. I just looked it up. You can loot corpses. Okay, you know what? How tough are you? I finally made it to the other side of the fenced area and I was able to continue on to the next set of houses, though I would soon have to choose if I wanted to keep going north or east. Hey, die. Okay. My bat eventually broke though, so I went back to killing people with hammers. It's for killing people, not for nail stuff. Something tells me with the amount of hammers I have, this might actually be useful for me to take. Stop using hammers to nail stuff into walls, that's not what they're for. Alright, so you all remember how, just a moment ago, that I said I needed to make a decision to go either north or east to find my way to Louisville? I ended up deciding to go east, and this had significantly lasting of consequences. Immediately I reached the end of the trail, and instead of walking back, I went directly into the woods. From there I proceeded to travel for two days straight in pure darkness until I reached an open field, and instead of taking that as a sign that I was going the wrong way, I continued to walk for two more days until I was almost at the edge of the map and had almost died of thirst. Fortunately, I didn't die of thirst, as I was right next to the delicious saltwater oceans of Kentucky and attempted to drink the entire river. Alright! Before, you guessed it, turning around and walking for another two days straight. This time it didn't take me nearly as long though, as I clung to the grasslands and didn't have to deal with the human depression in clinical form, that is, walking through the woods at night. And by the time I made it to the first building in Louisville, I had nearly starved to death. But I was there now, and it was time to get to work, building my weapons of mass destruction, otherwise known as pulling a willow mane. Oh, I also slept on the floor in the bathroom again. After dealing with the zomboids and getting my clothing situation dealt with, I learned that I was actually in the perfect place to begin construction of Molotovs, as this area holds bourbon, one of the three ingredients for Molotovs, and since I already had plenty of ripped sheets, the second ingredient for a Molotov, all I would need now is a lighter. So until I found a lighter, it was just back to normal, which for me is just killing more people with hammers. I give up on finding them over here because clearly they're not over here. A few of them. Do I really want to kill them all? Yeah, I do. Do heroin and then kill a person with a hammer. I heard from an anonymous source that they can be found inside vehicles, but I have no idea how to get inside vehicles. Okay, so how do I check the glove? Oh, wait, here. Wait. 
Hmm. Maybe, may, maybe this will help me. I mean, there's a pistol, but I mean, what, what would I need that for without bullets? Oh, hey, there we go! There we go! Found it! And it is now the moment of truth. Where are they? There they are! Two more Molotovs! Yes, please! <laughs> Wait, can I not make Molotovs out of gasoline? I just got like eight empty bottles. And I had them all. I maxed out at four Molotovs and I was ready to burn down Louisville. All I had to do now was pick my targets and wait for the rain to stop raining. Unfortunately, the Molotovs were heavy for my character, so I had to leave behind most of my weapons, save for my bleach in the event that I get bitten, and a single metal bar. This would have the most lasting of consequences. You know, this seems like a good place of any to start. Now oh, let's... Yeah, there. There we go. Alright, now everybody walk into the fire. There we go, they're catching them right now. The fuck you mean I'm hungry? I just ate. Well, I, it'll be fine in a moment, because I'll have all these fried zombies. Now, if I just redirect the burning horde into buildings, that'll also catch them on fire. Burning Kentucky down isn't going too well. Pretty big structure. It doesn't look like there's not much stuff inside that doesn't blow up, though. Let's burn it up! No! Ah! Oh, there's another one. Okay, there we go. Now they're catching fire. Here's another building. Light it up. Oh shoot, there's a lot of them in there. there we, yeah, yeah, there we go, it's burning to the ground. Let's see, what else can we burn down? Maybe this will get some attention. Wait, hang on. Okay, good, it is burning. I probably shouldn't have ran inside, but that's okay. Oh! <laughs> it's actually working! Now, okay, now, never mind, I'm right. It, it definitely is on fire. Yeah, there we go. You just gotta kind of push them into the fire. That way they all catch on it. What is catching the place to the ground? Yeah, it's burning the place. <laughs> nice, it actually worked. I guess it is made out of wood after all. All right, now that you're on fire, let me just lead you into the residential areas. There we- <laughs> I don't even need Molotovs anymore! <laughs> Just grab onto the wall, there we go. Come on, let's get through the entire residential district. <laughs> Just burning all the fucking houses. No, don't worry, I'll get us started over here on this one. She gave what's less of her life for to do a little bit more of land profiling. We're really helping. We're really helping out here. My fire alone isn't enough to fire the fire. And my mission to burn down Louisville was going great. Up until I got a little too close to one of the burning zombies. This would have lasting co- yeah, come up here. Oh shit! No, 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 not me. Not me, not me. Okay. Okay. Well, what's wrong with my leg? Uh, let's see. All these houses have been burned down. Oh, my leg appears to be broken due to me setting it on fire, but the rest of my body appears to be fine. Oh, I'm also dying of exhaustion. Let's go take a look at our handiwork, but just in case. Let's go ahead and get this out. Oh shit, that's too many of them. Alright, well, you know what to do, Ripter. Don't let them take you alive. Don't let them take you alive, Ripter! Don't let them take you alive! Finish it, Ripter! That- Ripter, that was supposed to kill you. 
So I was hoping for a more instant effect when using Bleach, similar to biting a cyanide molar. Cut off one head. Two more. Unfortunately, in Project Zomboid, it isn't nearly as fast, and in order to even die from Bleach, you need to take it several times in rapid succession. Unfortunately, this isn't what happened. Two words! You have got to be fucking kidding me! Okay, yeah, this is over. But that was how my short adventure for my first time playing Project Zomboid ended. And I've gotta say, what this game lacks for in enemy variety, it makes up for in class. And I think with this video I've learned from my mistakes, and we have passed the trials of Project Zomboid. And in my next Project Zomboid episode, I think... We can begin my subscriber human experimentation trial. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Attention! This just in!